So I totally messed up this video. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't have the audio or the sound on for the camera until just until she was hooked up to that fish. Gosh, guys, we did it! We did it! We got a fish in the boat, and we got a big Kobe in the boat too. I'm stoked! I can't believe we caught this fish. He ate a live pilchard. I was actually holding the rod when it happened. Check this monster out! Slob, slob, Kobe! Look at the spines on his dorsal fin here, up here. They're really dangerous when they come in the boat. They go crazy. So you make sure you stay far away from them. But he's uh, very tired. I fought him for a while. And uh, this is definitely a keeper. They have to be 33 inches total length. So nice fish. We had about four, like I said, we had like four or five big bull sharks come in and I just started drifting back to Pilchard and sure enough hooked up on a cobia and just stoked we landed them. That's awesome. Yes. See how these spines, you can't see the spines right now, but when he's angry, all these spines come up. Super, super dangerous. You get, sp you get st um, spined by one of these bad boys, you're, in, you're gonna be hurting. All right, measuring my fish on the sea deck roller. Like I said, they have to be 33 inches to the fork. So you can see this fish is about 40 inches. 42. 40 42. at the fork. fork. 39. 39 at the fork. So totally legal cobia. Totally awesome. And I'm just really, really happy this fish decided to stay up on the surface the whole time and not go down where the sharks were. Awesome. All right, you got the chum over the side? Cool. Yeah, they want those pilchards today. Hey guys, Darcy's going to tell you all about that, that about that fish right now, but I just wanted to say, I'm sorry the video's a little wacky, but uh, no big deal, we caught that beautiful fish, and now Darcy's going to give you a little debrief on it, because of course I, I destroyed uh, all the footage before that, so you can see what the heck we're doing out here. That's, that's what happens out here when you're filming in these kind of conditions. Lots of stuff just happens all at once. So once again, we apologize for that. But um, yeah, that's my biggest cobia ever. Pretty cool to catch one of those big fish like that. Fought them for a while, but I wanted to tell you exactly what I caught them on and the setup. And starting with the rod here, this is a Hanta rod. This is made by Hanta Rods and Lures. Hanta Hybrid 80S. And then attached to this, we actually, as you guys may have know already, and those of you who don't know, I'm no longer sponsored by Accurate Reels. Um, so because of that, we're just trying out different reels, trying out different things, just seeing what works for us. And we heard about the Daiwa BG3500, got some really great reviews online. And I really like this reel so far. Caught the Kobe on this reel, and um, it's pulled up with 20 pound mono. Um, and it's just awesome, I really like it. So if you're interested in checking out the Daiwa, it's a really inexpensive reel to, to check out. I'll have every, all the links down in the description below for you guys. Um, but then I had about a four foot long, it's no longer on here anymore, it got destroyed, but it was a four foot long, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, and it's actually tsunami fluorocarbon. If you wanna check that out, description below. And then it was tied on with a snell knot to a 5 aught mustad circle hook. And it was a one-time strong fine wire demon circle hook. So uh, that's what caught the fish. It was pretty awesome. Like I said, we had seen a bull shark. We put out um, more chum. We already had a chum bag. So we put out a big old chunk of bonita out. And then we had like five or six bull sharks literally swim up to the back of the boat. And when I saw those bull sharks, I knew there had to be cobia on them. There's a good cobia run go going on right now. So I just whipped out a little live pilchard on the 5 aught mustad circle hook and just kind of free lined them back and within 30 seconds of seeing those sharks I was hooked up to a cobia and we are super lucky just so many things could have gone wrong sharks could have eaten him and uh, ate him and a lot of the times the sharks um, can't outrun the cobia so the cobia will take will just run as far as they can and get away from the shark so that's what my cobia did he stayed on top we were able to land him and get him to the boat Yes! Target species accomplished. We are now doing something different. We are wreck fishing. We left the area where we were fishing for the cobia. We were actually really far north of where we go out of the in, out of the Boynton Inlet. We went like 20 miles north. <gasps> Excuse me. We went like 20 more 20 miles north. 
So I am dropping down a live blue runner to the bottom on a wreck on the sky cliff out of Boynton. And it's about 200 feet of water. So we're going to try to see if we can get a fish on here and uh, catch a big one from the bottom. Using my new Max Ocean Max, Maxell Ocean Max 16. So we're going to see how this works out and uh, hopefully we catch a fish. Looks like we have no current in this area that we're fishing and uh, we're not really marking any fish on our depth finder so that kind of tells us the fishing is very slow and I just decided to drop down my mutton rig just to see if I could catch a fish and sure enough just caught a remora and they actually kind of look like a cobia too like a baby juvenile cobia but um, these guys are with the sharks so this is a big remora we stuck to a big shark and just looked like he was a little hungry but um, yeah so I think that's it for us and we got our target species today so we're happy about that. There you go. Stuck to the boat. He's got a little suction cup on his head there. So that's how he suctions himself to a shark. So there he goes. But um, we had an excellent day. We found the fish. We had to run like 30 miles for him. But we're super happy. We got our target species. We heard there was a lot of cobia around. We got a cobia. And uh, we wanted to try and get a bonus fish. But that didn't work out for us. But we tried. And we had an epic day. So I can't complain. So thank you guys so much once again for watching our videos. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.